there a little bit of disappointment after the result see if you see in terms of seat yes we are disappointed in delhi but i think in terms of number of uh, percentage of votes hmm. i think we have improved that shows that the people still have faith in us and they trust us hmm. and they trust the kind of politics we are doing the politics the clean politics the honest politics hmm. Hmm. and do you think there is a little bit of silver lining with punjab of course yes I, 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 as i said our uh, vote percentage has improved in delhi yes. that's a, that's a great silver lining yes. and then the first time we entered into the into the punjab and punjab had responded so well right. and uh, uh, those people have won who had never contested the election ever hmm. so i think these these are these are the great things in one and a half years time if a, if a political party could uh, create breakthroughs in two states hmm. that's a major achievement but yes there are there are major learnings for us also Uh, we have to work on our organizational strength hmm. we have to create more resources uh, for, for the party we have to be more communicative uh, with our volunteers and people we have to be we have to uh, further sit down and analyze that what else we need to do and we also have to sit down that uh, uh, when you are contesting elections uh, just only improving percentage of votes hmm. is important are also uh, winning seats correct so there is a lot of learning that you oh think yes. that there there oh is also yes. well, coming to the fact that you pointed out on volunteers there are a lot of young people mm. uh, i mean i personally know that lot of college students lot of young professionals who came and joined uh, up uh, and with the promise that there will be a substantial uh, at least uh, vote uh, vote taking mm. do you think that there is a little bit of there is going to be a disappointment and do, will you address your volunteers in that uh, uh, see uh, every every victory and every defeat has its own own consequences mm. Uh, yes if we had one seats in delhi obviously it could have uh, naturally enthused our volunteers but i just want to want to convey one message to our our colleagues our volunteers our workers and everybody who who belongs to to amadi party or has sympathy for amadi party that please please just understand this we are just one and a half year old party and whatever we have achieved in one and a half year year hmm. is very very historic bjp and the congress could not uh, get that kind of support in their initial one and a half years but, so but did you did you anticipate the sort of numbers that bjp has been able to achieve this time i think that bjp had not uh, <laughs> had not anticipated that they'll get these kind of numbers at, at least myself had not hmm. anticipated so i i i'm i don't want to lie that yes i anticipated and i thought about but what it. do you think has worked for them because you know aam aadmi party has been talking about how their candidates are clean and whereas opposition parties had candidates to criminal uh, records track records and yet there is this clean sweep that has happened you, what do you think has worked for them is it the modi card uh, see i i preferably like to say that uh, in the last 3 years especially in the upa2 government mm. uh, there was the people have lost hope with the government and there was a lot of dithering there was no decisions were made and there was there was tremendous corruption the unheard of the corruption of that magnitude mm. and then there was such a such a high price rise you know these these are the issues which touches the normal uh, normal average person in this country hmm. especially poors and but that is why they were looking for an option with aam aadmi party you know that is why that there was big delhi win hmm. uh, but do you think that going away after 49 days i mean i know a lot of people must have asked you this hmm. question but going away after 49 days did you think that that is that was a deterrent did you lose a uh, faith i mean did the people lose faith in the party see firstly in one and a half years if anybody is thinking that we could have emerged as a national party uh, aiming for 272 seats i think wishful. we were not that yeah. uh, that wishful in our thinking yeah. uh, we were we were very very optimistic and that's why we said that uh, uh, our aim was not to form the government because we knew our weaknesses we knew our our pluses also mm. uh, yes uh, i can uh, i have no problem in admitting the fact that uh, arvin's resignation uh, from the delhi as a chief minister did disappoint people and uh, we need to sit down and we need to discuss and analyze and that uh, how to move forward mm. and how to take the the enormous goodwill which we have uh, to translate into votes and to seats maybe people want to see a little more than dharna mm. they want to see action do you can see i think that's a, that's more part of a, of a propaganda because uh, in 49 days we had taken many many decisions which other political parties had not taken in one and a half years mm. i think i might sound little arrogant but the fact is i can i can uh, i can tell you n number of seats uh, but yes i agree uh, many people are disappointed with uh, with his resignation and now what's the plan for the next cycle we'll sit down we'll think mm. and uh, then we'll relax and and to make plans how to move forward okay. good we we'll look forward to yeah. all that up wants to do thank, thank you so much thank you